G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking all about catch cans. I've got a HPD catch can fitted to my 2014 Toyota Land Cruiser. Gonna be talking a bit about how they work, why I fitted one to my Land Cruiser, and we're gonna be seeing how effective they are by emptying out this catch can after 8,000 kilometers of driving. So stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so here we are underneath the bonnet of the Toyota Land Cruiser, and here you can see our HBD catch can that we've got fitted. Now just briefly, I'll quickly explain what the issue is and why we need to fit one of these to our diesels. So during the course of combustion, a small amount of oily gases do get past the piston rings in the piston um, on each cylinder. What that does is it puts some gases down into the crankcase and it causes a bit of a buildup of pressure over time. So what the manufacturers have done to counteract this is they've fitted a crankcase ventilation system, which is essentially is a ventilation system from that crankcase back into the intake of the engine. And the reason they've done that rather than just releasing it out into the, end, uh, into the open environment is obviously those environmental factors and the emissions control. Those oily gases are quite toxic. Obviously today with our increasing in emissions control, we need to put that back in the engine to try and uh, clean that up before it exits through the exhaust. Now, although it's great in terms of the emission control, what it does do is it coats a, all your intake and your intercooler parts in a nice thin layer of oil. Now, what that does is it reduces the efficiency of these components and uh, the cooling capacity of your intercooler and all those parts there. Now, most of us are familiar with an EGR or an exhaust gas recirculation system. And again, it's another thing that manufacturers have put in place to reduce emissions. Although it's separate to the uh, catch can system, this has a similar sort of system where it recirculates the used burnt uh, gases from the exhaust and puts it back through the intake. Now when you mix that with some of the uh, crankcase ventilation gases, the oily gases, it creates over time a sludge on all your intake parts and your valves and, valves and whatnot and uh, essentially ends up causing a blockage through the engine. So uh, over time that's going to significantly reduce your performance and your fuel economy. So one thing we can do on our turbo diesel engines is to fit a catch can. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna reduce those oily vapors that are coming out of the crankcase ventilation, filter them through the can, and then try and put as clean an air as possible back into the intake and uh, reduce that oily sludge buildup. What I'm gonna do now is I'll get off this uh, plastic cover here for the intercooler and we'll go over how exactly it works and where it's all plumbed up to. In the back corner here, we can see our catch can right up there with the two hoses coming off it here. So these two hoses here come around to the front of the engine and we can see here that one is connected to the uh, intake and the other one is connected to the ventilation system from the crankcase. Now the way this works is obviously the air will come from the crankcase ventilation, go into the can, be filtered through and then come back out and go into the intake of the engine. Okay, so some of the pros about this HPD catch can, there are no internal filters, uh, which means that maintenance on it is very easy and there's no ongoing maintenance apart from emptying the can itself. Uh, the system itself is a solid metal construction. It's an Australian-owned company, fairly reliable there. So another benefit is a little dipstick it's got here on the top as well. So you can check the level of the oil within that can without having to open it up every time you want to look at it. So some of the negatives about this particular unit, and it's uh, the same as the Pro there, it doesn't have any internal uh, filters. Although it's good for ongoing maintenance, it means that it's probably not going to be picking up quite as much as some of the other ones on the market that do have this. So uh, we'll see today how effective it's been over the last 8,000 kilometers, and uh, we'll go from there. Another thing about this unit as well, some units on the market do come with a very convenient drain hose. This one does not. So the only way to empty this one out is to unscrew the bottom half of the filter itself. And, and the way I've got this particular one mounted up, I actually have to undo the catch can from the bracket and then grab it, the, uh, the cup from there. There has been a study recently in relation to how effective these are and unfortunately the HPD catch can hasn't fared so well in relation to the effectiveness of this unit. It's coming at about 42% um, success of catching those oil vapors, which isn't great overall. So just before we empty this thing out, I'll just let you know we've done about 8,000 kilometers since this catch can was fitted and that includes a, a varying uh, driving conditions. So we've got a lot of highway driving in there. Um, there's been about 2,000 kilometers of off-roading, whether that be gravel roads or bush tracks, um, some beach work, some sand dunes. And there's also been a fair amount, probably about 4,000 kilometers of towing a van as well, which does put the engine under more load than regular driving. And uh, the more load there, the uh, essentially the effect more effective this unit should be and the more it should catch so uh, let's get this thing apart and see how much we've got
Okay, so uh, from taking it out here, we can see that we do have a fair amount of oil in there, but not a huge amount for 8,000 kilometers. So let's take it over to the bench and see exactly how much there is. Okay, so let's see exactly how much we've got in here. Okay, so straight up it's gone up to about 75 mil. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it there for a couple of minutes while we're waiting for this to empty out completely. Let's go back to the car and have a look at how the filtration system works. Okay, so from here you can see here this metal gauze here, and that's what is used in this particular system to try and filtrate that oil vapor through. Now, as you can imagine, it's probably not going to be quite as effective as something like a ProVent, which has got like a uh, filter material. Uh, but this is still going to be better than nothing, and as we've seen, it had pulled up a little bit. So let's go back to the uh, can and see how that's going. Okay, so as we can see there, the can is more or less 100% empty there. And uh, from this measuring jug here, we can see we've got pretty much dead on 75 milliliters there. Okay, with the can all emptied up now, let's uh, put this back together again. So there we have it guys, the catch can is emptied and put back together again. Look, that process is very simple. Um, most cases you probably wouldn't have to remove that bracket entirely, you could probably just unscrew it in place, but I've got a few other things in here making it a little bit crowded, and therefore it's just a lot easier if I just take that whole thing out while I unscrew the bottom of it. Look, uh, quickly, would I buy it again? Look, probably not, okay? So there has been some uh, tests done on a whole series of catch cans now, and a 42% uh, pass rate for the vapor coming through here is just probably not good enough uh, given the price you pay for a unit like this. Um, another unit that I would look at would be the ProVent 200. They, have, uh, they claim to have 98% um, success in reducing or eliminating the vapor that passes through, which is obviously a lot more and uh, a similar sort of price range as well. And they do have safety features like uh, pressure release valves and whatnot if there were to be a build up in pressure, so that wouldn't be an issue. Overall, look, I'm glad I have it in the car. It is definitely going to help. It's going to assist 75 mil of oil out of the, uh, the intercooler and all the intake is definitely a bonus. And uh, look, we'll uh, keep going and we'll see how we go. And maybe down the track, we might upgrade to something like a ProVent. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. I do a few maintenance type videos and reviews on our Land Cruiser 200 and also on the band we tow, which is a Jayco Journey. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you're interested to see what we're up to. So uh, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.